Hi everybody. How is everyone doing? Hello, hello. 15 minutes to watch before I hop off to work. Oh, toast. You have a late night tonight? Hope you're doing well. Sad I missed yesterday's stream. I know, dude. Honestly, it's okay. The VODs are still there. I'm gonna be streaming again on the weekend. It should be good. Oh my god, angry. Let me tell you, dude. The the sunlight, 100 percent Like even the little bit that like I went outside, I walked around a little bit. So nice today, man. It was such a refreshing like vibe to have. I should even open up this a little bit. It was such a refreshing vibe to have. Like truly. Uh, an earlier day for me today. Oh, true, true. Okay, that's that's other times other time zones exist. I keep forgetting about that. How are you guys doing? Did you paint uh, your MX Master? So this was done by a person named Leonardo de Mouse. Turned out pretty sick. No way it's snowing again this weekend. Oh my god, dude. I'm getting like low-key sick of the snow. I am pretty low-key sick of it, but how are you guys? Currently in line for an amusement park ride? Been here for an hour. I have luckily never been. Actually, I've been to one amusement park, but it was like on an off day um, where we didn't really have to wait too long, but oh, I feel so relaxed right now. Like to the point where I low key almost feel sleepy. Are there any upcoming group buys for 60 and 65s? We're actually gonna be doing a Chimera today, which is an upcoming uh, group buy. So, or upcoming purchase or raffle, whatever you wanna call it. How's everyone doing though? How is everyone? Got an early meeting with some people in the NA department. Oh, so if they're in North America, it's probably West Coast, I'd say, like four o'clock people. Where's the keyboard? It's over there. We're gonna be using some of these switches too, which are the chocolate, chocolate toffee chip switches or ch toffee switches. They're a Texi linear switch. When I hear toffee, I just get really hungry, man. I love toffee. Uh, are you a Yu-Gi-Oh fan? <laughs> I was. Dude, I was when I was younger. All right? I don't mind it. Like, nowadays, like, I'm not gonna run out and go play Yu-Gi-Oh, but, like, dude, I was... I used to print out cards for myself because we couldn't afford to buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, well, we could, but, like, we couldn't afford as many as, like, I want it, you know? Like, it was, like, a pack here and there, so I printed them out, you know? Like, it's... Whatever, save some money, right? What's up, Alex? Still, How thank you, you so much for tonight? tier one. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. And I remember we went to a tournament. Bro, oops. God damn, dude. That's like DMC right there, 110%. I listen to music during the year, or during the day, and uh, well, listen to story of the year. And then uh, I always forget to turn off Spotify. So we went. I went to a tournament one time, right? Dude, I forgot all the printed cards were in my deck. And... We played, I played through one match and then they banned me from the tournament. I just, for, like, dude, it was like, I was a kid, right? Like, I just forgot, you know? Like, I was just like, dude, that's my bad. Like, you know, so, whoops. And then they banned me for, for, I think they just told me to get, like, I think they, no, sorry. They let me finish the match, but they told me that I wouldn't be eligible for any prizes. And then they just told me to like basically get lost. Uh, what keycaps are on the Envoy? This is a uh, Monokai material. Oops, this is still zoomed in from yesterday. Monokai material, one of one of my current favorite sets. I really, really like this. Hello, gorgeous man, Adderick. Uh, send Angel your Addy PO box to share with me. I wanna send you something. Does Angel have my post postal office box? Okay, I'll, I'll share it with him again. Uh, hello, Daddy, what's going on? Leakin, thank you so much for the Prime, dude. Dude, you know what's crazy? Someone had mentioned yesterday they, they wanted me to set up an Amazon wish list. And then I went to go look and I had an old Amazon wish list from when I was younger. <laughs> you know what was on it, dude? It was socks and underwear. I'm not even kidding you, man. I put socks and underwear in this wish list because I was like, God damn, like I could use some socks and underwear. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Those are always coming in clutch. Missouri kind of wild. I'm in Branson and we drove past a house with a garden gnome of Trump holding a Confederate flag. Huh? Who wears those? Huh? Did you end up buying them? No, it was novelty ones. Like 
there were sushi socks and like the other underwears were just some like, at the time, dude, when I was, this is like, I'm talking like probably from seven years ago, I swear to God, it was a long time ago. But I always had this like idea in my head that like Calvin Klein was like the brand. And then I ended up buying a one pair when I got like, I think like four, this is such a weird combo, but I ended up buying like one pair of Calvin Klein and they were like nothing, they're just fucking boxers, you know, like whatever. Uh, if I ever commission a build, I promise I'll throw in some banger socks. Let's go, dude. Actually, socks, I need, I, I can never use enough socks. I tend to, I don't know why, I rip, I rip them all the time. Uh, Saks, Calvin Klein. You know what I like right now for undergarments for men? Bro, tell me how I really like Uniqlo. Uniqlo is where it's at right now. Uniqlo is the move for me. Maybe not for other people. Oh, I really like Uniqlo. Uh, bomb, bomb us, goad it for quality and darn tough for outdoor use. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any like go-to brands that have lasted me. Uniqlo is newer to me, so I'm hoping that they last, but all right, take a look at the keyboard too. I actually have not opened it. I promised you guys I would not open it and I have not done that. Although I should grab scissors of some sort, which I might go grab right now. Arism for the win, boxer reveal. I don't know what the hell I'm wearing today. I think I'm just trying Hanes. One second. I need scissors. Can anyone vouch for errors and boxers over normal? Yeah, actually, can anyone vouch for the errors and stuff versus normal? Cause they're a little, aren't they a little bit more expensive for the errors and stuff or however you pronounce it? Dude, I'm telling you, you can never, dude, if you ever are, dude, I'm, I'm dead ass. Like if you were ever in a pinch for someone for gifts, socks and underwear. Especially family members, like people that you just don't know what the hell you like. Cause obviously it's not as weird to give it to. Dude, I'm telling you, such a good gift. Uh, what IMs do I use? I'm using Campfire Andromedas. Airsome's more expensive. Do you like them more? It's got like 10 times the normal boxes. Ah, oh, makes sense. Okay, I think we have multiple PCBs in here because I'm sending this to another person after this. Are they all the same? I'm pretty positive they're all solderable PCBs. Okay, yeah. I only need one. Arizona feels good. My only issue is they get the sl they're, they're slightly glossy. Oh, is that like the sheen of the material? Is that what that is? The sheen of it? Where the flex cuts at? Good riddance. No flex cuts, please. We are not here for that. As an adult, I appreciate socks and underwear as a gift as much. Dude, same here. I seriously do. I'm inside your walls? That is a scary name. <laughs> How are you, dude? Uh, I'm new to this channel. How you doing, man? Hopefully you're having a good one today. Regular boxers feel more comfortable than the airism. The only airism you get now are, sh or get are shirts which is something I have yet to get. I kind of want to do like a little Uniqlo run, but I'm not gonna lie guys. <clears throat> With tax season and all that, everything's been a little, a little bit awkward, a little tight. So I haven't really done anything for myself. Although I, I kind of do want to pick up a few new things. Alex needs croc undies. Do they have croc undies? Ooh, this is very securely packaged. It was bubble wrap inside bubble wrap. I actually like uh, Calvin Klein boxers, but they were my first foray into anything nicer than Hanes and Fruit of the Loom. All, everything that I have that's Hanes and Fruit of the Loom, I know that, do, I, I'm, I apologize for anyone who doesn't care about boxer talk right now, but I'm telling you guys, save yourself the, the headache. My Hanes and Fruit of the Loom stuff is all gone. It's all ripped up. Every last piece of it. It's, to me, it's like poorly made. I would suggest something else. It's unfortunate too, because like it is cheaper. Like I get it, but it just, they, they just like fall apart. 
So this is the new round two of the Chimera. I feel so bad for, I think I just ruined everything on this, this bubble wrap. Whoa. Oh. Interesting. Huh. Is this the special edition one? Whoa, this is uh, this is shiny. Uh, the coloring? Oh, I wanna see this on my desk. I need to put feet on it though. Wow, that's uh, that's kind of cool. The special isn't this purple top, no? I'm not too, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't remember all the colors. Um, but this is really cool actually. I wish I had an original Chimera. I never really, I think I've built two original Chimeras ever. So I don't really have like a lot of memory of what the original one looks like. Damn. That's kind of pretty though. You can't pick it up without fingerprints. If you do this from the sides, it has like koala curve kind of stuff on the side here. Oh, I just put fingerprints on the back now. God damn it, dude. Anyways, here's the side profile. Actually, that's kind of nice with the weight kind of poking out there. Darko got you with the hydrate here in a second. I got you, dude. Just don't pick it up, easy. Future funk for this? Ah. Watching you from uh, Lima. Uh, what kind of monitor do I use? Um, I am using the, dude, I, I really like the Apple Studio monitor. I so badly want either a second one or the XDR or whatever the expensive one's called. I just don't have $6,000 to throw at that monitor. These studio displays have been like amazing. Like I, I have been absolutely in love with these studio displays. Going from a pretty good display before to this, this just looks so much crisper. And then we got the back over here. This is kind of clean. I like this. The Chimera badge and weight on the bottom. We'll put the feet on here in a second. Then we got the front here as well. Kind of clean. So I could, yes, I can write it off as a business business expense. And I like the weight peeking through at the back there with the weight. Oh, that's this is nice looking. However, it's still $6,000. So yes, you can write it off as a business expense, but that's just for tax purposes. So you don't pay taxes on the $6,000 that you spent. It's still expensive. I think there's a, a common misconception with like how, um, <laughs> you do save that 5%, you're right with how sometimes like the tax write-offs work and stuff like that. Put these back in here. Wait, where are the feet? I need feet. Thank you for the feet. All right. You just need more subs, man. We can get you that 6K. Oh my gosh. Maybe one day, guys. I'm clueless on that, never looked into it. Okay, so let me, actually, this is a good lesson for anyone who's maybe like a little bit younger or considering. Um, or not even younger, just anyone who's maybe interested in learning. Basically how that works, when you write off something as a tax, like if you write it off on your taxes, it doesn't mean you get a refund for the whole thing, right? So let's just say in one year, wait, do you guys even wanna hear about this? Is this like interesting? I, like, I know there's some people who probably already know what this all means, but is this something like you guys wanna hear about? I don't even know. Yes? Okay. Isn't it a deduction? It is a deduction. So the way this works, let's just say I bought this mouse. Let's just say in a year, uh, I, I earned $80,000, all right? And your tax bracket, like you'll pay whatever tax bracket is, you'll pay $30,000 in taxes, all right? So if you spend $15,000 in items for your business and write it off, it lowers your taxes. So it'll be like you only earned $65,000 because you're writing off $15,000 as expenses for your business. So now your total taxable income is 65 versus 80. So when, you, when, when someone says like, I'm writing this off of my taxes, it's going towards their total income for the year. Uh, tax law flashbacks, yeah. That's where I think some of the, maybe the misconception comes in because like people think that you get a lot of money back. You're not actually getting anything back. You're just deducting from your total for the year, which means you pay less taxes. So it does help you, but it, not, it doesn't help you as much as 
people think, like you're not getting things for free. Uh, that is a good explanation. Thank you, Prince. Thank you, I mean, it's a lot. I don't know if the music's too low, by the way, today, guys. I think it kind of is. I feel like I was listening to YouTube kind of low before, but I'll turn it up. Me, when I register myself as a business and register every spending business expense, you just gotta be a little careful um, with how you spend and stuff as a business too. There's music. I know it was really low, that's my bad. Uh, I need this talk because I always forget whenever I order something from overseas and it costs $200, I get taxed uh, 12%. So there's like lots of things, like little things you can do to help with that in the long run, but uh, writing off something as taxes just means you're lowering your total income for the year. There is some negative connotation that still comes with that too. Like it's not just like a, a freebie that you get. Like if you're, if you're a business and you're writing tons of stuff off as a business expense and at the end of the year, let's just say your business made $500,000, but you're writing $480,000 off in business expenses. Technically you're profit, like you're only profiting like on paper, even though you spent it on cool shit that you want and like cool things for your business, your income will be 20 K for your business, which could for certain things be like a detrimental. Um, and it's offense if you get it wrong. Wait, and the IRS knows what you owe, but won't tell you. So the IRS has an, okay, that's another, I, I feel like that's also like a little bit of a misconception as well. Yes, they have like a general idea of like your, your income, that's for sure. But they don't know what your expenses are because you have to tell them. I, I understand where you guys are coming from with like the whole, like I, I wish that they would just say like, hey, you made this much money. Can you like fill out the forms and like what's deductible and expenses and yada, 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 yada. That, that makes a lot of sense to me. I know some countries, uh, I believe do that already. But um, in terms of expenses, I don't think there's like any way they can track that. Like, unless you, I mean, you still have to manually fill that in. <clears throat> yeah, like cash stuff, they're never gonna know too. See, this is the confusing bit. The gov do it all for us and send us a letter saying whether we owe or get paid. So I also wanna point out that when you're self-employed versus when you're working for a, a company, they're filling out forms for you. So it's a lot easier for people to like understand uh, what, sh what you're being paid and stuff like that. Keyboards and taxes stream go hard. I'm, dude, you know what's crazy? I am 32 guys, all right? I am 32, well, 32 this year. And this is like the first year that I've, I've yet yeah, last year I kind of had an understanding of it, but isn't it crazy that I only, I only learned about this stuff like this year really? Isn't that wild? This year and a little bit of last? Within the last year? Isn't that fucking stupid? That how you, like something so important they don't teach you like in, in high school or anything like that? <laughs> Skulking, you do tax for a living, don't know what you're doing? Yeah, I know, it's, it's wild, it's a wild feeling. I hate growing up. I'm down for keyboards and tax. No, we're not doing tax fraud. No, 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 that. You don't want that. It's ridiculous though, it is ridiculous. I, I wish in school they, they taught us this, honestly. I like the financial literacy. Uh, I feel like financial literacy is way better here in Canada than when I lived in the UK. Oh, I'm actually curious, like what do you mean by that, Petate? Do you mean like people understand more things about finances or people are just more like on the cusp of being like more responsible? Is the Prism Special Edition? I kind of wish Upas or someone was here to answer this question. I actually don't know anything about the what's Special Edition and what's not. I only kind of have a general idea about like the parts I received for the board and just like building it and showing it off. I actually, I'm gonna be honest for this one here, I don't have a lot of info past that. They might've sent me some stuff, let me double check. Um, wait, was there supposed to be a hot swap PCB that they sent? I don't think so. Hold on, let me double check. Oh, three times solder PCBs. Yeah, there's no, there's no hot swap PCBs. Yes, it is. Rule of thumb for everyone in chat, tax avoidance is A-OK, -okay. tax evasion is jail. Do you mean avoiding your taxes and like, not like putting them off? You can technically put them off. Um, but I would not I would not suggest that just do it. I ordered par parts to make my first keyboard. Um, they're all coming in tomorrow. What, what parts did you end up getting? I'm curious. All right, let's loop some stabs while we're also just chit chatting about random stuff. Everyone uses debt, uh, debit for everything. Credit cards are more or less optional. Uh, no one knew, knew I invested anything at all. We weren't taught anything. I'm going to be honest though. We weren't taught anything either. Like, 
again, I do think it's kind of, actually, I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna put this on the plastic wrap. I do think it's kind of wild um, how, I don't know, man. It is kind of wild how like growing up, we, we weren't taught much of anything about this. Um, I do think using a credit card and then is like a good idea and then paying it off every month. So I came here to get away from tax talk. You know what we'll talk about guys? Let's talk about something else that's been bothering me. All right. Side hustle influencers. <laughs> Dude, honestly, every time I see some Twitter thread or some like, uh, you should be working three jobs at once, making $150 a day extra on the side, and here's a thread on why. And it's like, you should do drop shipping. And I'm just like, bro, not everyone can do fucking drop shipping. You should open up this weird random business that, it's just like, dude, stop. Like, it, it, it you know what's crazy is I actually know people who let that shit poison, like, it, honestly, I know this is like kind of harsh, I, I know people get suckered into that and poison their brain about like this, all these weird random side hustles that they're like, dude, you want to know the secret behind all that? As someone who's looked into it and has friends, there's always one guy at the top who's benefiting so fucking much off of everybody. It, they do it because it's, a, it's literally a pyramid scheme. But it's done in a different way these days, like where it doesn't seem like it is. Like, ah. Uh, uh, buy my book and you'll learn how to become a billionaire, I swear, I promise. Please buy my book, I'm begging you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no, num num. I think I need to message you back. I've been really busy today. Uh, it's an upside down cone plane. You know what's the new trend on shorts, reels, YouTube shorts? It's that option one, you're a millionaire, but you live with your first option, or option two, you're a billionaire, but, you're only, but your only friend is your third at. Wait, dude, there's some weird trends on, on TikTok right now, man. Nah, bro, MLM? Which one's MLM? Is that multi-level marketing or whatever? Is that that like weird stuff where it's like, uh, actually, what plate do we want to use for this today? I low-key want to use FR4. Are you guys down for FR4 today? I love your content. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. And then I think we'll do, I think we only have one option for stab, which is 7U. So I think we have to use 7U here. Dude, I mean, there was also that like, you know, if I, if I can paint a cautionary tale for you guys, there was also get rich with Bitcoin and stuff like that too. Like, you know, to a certain degree. And you know how many people I know that, I'm sure you guys know a story or two too people losing money and all that and going broke over like fucking coins and stuff. And I feel like everyone's rushing to market AI stuff too. And I don't know, man, there's a lot, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of weird stuff these days. Uh, how convenient I've got a book on how to get rich on Bitcoin too. Please buy it. I swear, dude, I, um, you know, I got you, dude. Alex, did you know that if 17,000 people would buy my book, How to Get Rich, that's just 235 blank pages, I would be rich. I'm going to buy your book. Even though there's nothing in it, I'm literally going to buy your book. Got you, dude. I want you to get rich. But yeah, dude, I saw, I don't know. I saw it this morning and I saw some mutuals that I know, like liking and commenting on it, being like, dude, I should try this. I feel like, okay, hear me out too. I feel like it also preys on very vulnerable people. Like truly, like there's a dark side to this I feel as well. Like I, when you look into some of the requirements for some of these things, it's fucking crazy to even start like earning a little bit from some of this shit. Yes, it does. Yeah, it's, it's I don't know, it's very deceitful. I don't like it. Like it really, it gets under my skin. Like it's weird, man. I, I, I don't like that shit. Uh, same with cults, honestly. I mean, cults do prey on vulnerable people. That's 110%. Um, so wait, we got one, two, three, four. I think that's all we need, right? Backspace, enter, left shift, spacebar. I redeemed a compliment. Oh my God, slurpless, did you? You did, slurpless seven minutes ago. Okay, slurpless. You know, if you were feeling vulnerable, slurpless, I would come and give you a hug in a, in a chat, man. Cause I know, I know we're at that level, dude. All right, 
we'd make it all better because you're worth talking to, all right, Slurpless? Love you, dude. I hope you're having the best of days today. I hope, th I hope that the lion is treating you well for the amusement park that you're in right now. I know that could probably be boring as fuck too, but... Uh, have you tried the new APTX dabs yet? No, not yet. Soon, 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 soon. I, I'm... I have a client who bought one who is apparently sending me a set. Uh, not to like keep for, for their build, so we're gonna take a look. What caps are you using with this board? This board here has Jim K Monokai material. Also, someone mentioned they were buying their first board. I think I might have missed the message, but what was it again? I just reached the front. I just wanted to comment before I got on. Sounds good, dude. Uh, just a wish com just wish a company would make stabs that didn't tick or rattle out of the box. We need innovation. Ah. I was talking, well, I saw it on my YouTube. Someone was commenting that as well. And then I was talking to some other people. Um, honestly, I think that's a little, in its stock plastic form, I don't know a good way to do that, especially because different keycaps require some different tolerances. Dude, Gallon, thank you so much for the Prime. Using your Prime here, man, appreciate that. Oh, that was you? Okay, okay. Yeah, I saw some people were talking about that. And I actually, I reached out basically to someone who designs things ancient and I was talking with them for like 10, 15 minutes today about it. So nice. Oh my God. Stater, thank you so much for using your Prime Gaming. You're, I appreciate that. But um, one thing that they did mention was perhaps just like they've started doing with some of the switches, create a process where the stabs are also lubed or create a process where there's like a, he was mentioning essentially in the stem here, like what his idea was if there was cushioning in, in here, like a PE film of some sort in here, like pre-done uh, where everything's kind of assembled at the factory or assembled like that. Um, but he was, he was mentioning too, like the prices of these things would be like insane. And, and that's where we kind of came at a crossroads of at that point there, is it just worth lubing your own stabs? That's the crossroads we came to. Like, is it just worth doing it yourself and saving yourself what probably will be like a lot of money, unless you can find some crazy way to like manufacture these things. Uh, the Chimera 65 R2, the cabbage color was so fire, but the price, what's the price right now of the, the Chimera? I like the, uh, I normally don't love black keyboards. I think I have so many of them from when I started that I have too many black keyboards right now, but I have, um, I have a soft spot for black and multicolor, like, uh, weights and stuff like that. Dude, hack. Thank you so much for the tier one, bro. I appreciate that too, dude. Uh, there's a company don't think they've come out yet, but, uh, I think it's mo mo mod zero for pre loop stabs and whatnot. Interesting. Um, the Zoom TKL stabs have rubber coatings on, on the end. Um, you know, I have not seen the new Zoom stabs yet. They were supposed to send me a new one, a, a new Zoom sta or a stabilizer from Wuche, but they never did. What's my favorite plate materials? Aluminum is number one. Nothing beats Alu. Alu is so well-rounded. And I think number two would be FR4 carbon fiber. And then for certain builds, I do appreciate a good polycarbonate plates. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for the subs. I appreciate you. I um, hope you guys are having a great day. Have you made your March Madness bracket yet? No, I have not. Is that already? Is it already? We're doing that already? For, for the keyboard stuff you're talking about, right? Not sports. Every single build you make literally uh, literally keeps me in the hobby because it shows me how you can literally put a few pieces of plastic metal together and make it sound so premium. Especially the Bakaneko 60 plus Duroc Lavender's build you made. Dude, I love that build personally. I'm, I'm still like, dude, I'm using an $185 keyboard. Well, let's just say a $200 keyboard right now. Minus switches and caps. Um, this has been my daily. I honestly think you don't need to spend a lot in this hobby. Obviously, there are reasons why you might want to. Maybe the design you like, maybe a certain color speaks to you, maybe a certain layout that's hard to get speaks to you, but you don't need to spend a lot in this hobby to, to not even participate, but just enjoy it. Um, but participation, you literally can spend zero dollars. As long as you're interested and you're a kind person, that's it. That's it, bro. Uh, poly or carbon fiber plates? 
Um, if I had to choose between polycarbonate and carbon fiber, I think most of the time I'd choose carbon fiber. Most of the time. Um, starts tomorrow. March Madness equals college basketball. Oh, I thought we were talking about the, the March Madness stuff for keyboards. We do that sometimes too. Um, hey Alex, I've been looking at the Moondrop Lunar Light switches. Have you tried them? Moondrop Lunar Light. I tried a Moondrop switch, but I don't think it was those ones. So, did we do it last year? I actually don't remember if the keyboard hobby did, but a few years ago, I remember because I won, I won tenth place in one of them. We used to do March, like March Madness style bracketing for keyboards. I think uh, Mechs on Deck, like Chewy and them, usually hosted it. Fuck, did we do it last year? I don't remember. Um, any chance of hearing the aluminum plate on the QK80? So I was actually, I thought I was given an aluminum plate. I was not. Um, but I actually sent out the board already. Basically, I was not keeping that board, so that was sent to one of the mods uh, for the QK QWERTY Keys Discord. 10th place. You know what was funny? I was just making meme picks and I ended up winning that. Uh, it's important to know um, what is you're spending the extra money if you're choosing to spend more, I think. Do you mean like on keyboards, concrete? I think so too, but I mean like, again, I don't wanna like, I don't wanna put, okay. Let's, let's jump back two seconds. Financial responsibility in keyboards, hugely important, dude. Any hobby requires financial responsibility. Please, I beg you as someone who's gone down the wrong path of financial responsibility, even with like my mother, like literally next to me being like, be financially responsible. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I did it anyways. Um, it's so important to like plan how you're spending your money, especially on hobbies. You can still enjoy something without having to spend every dollar that you have. All right. That's just, it, it's not, it's not healthy. It's like literally a problem. Um, in the same boat, I also think that if you are healthy with how you spend and if, if the only justification is like, you just want the more expensive thing because you just want it and you're okay with spending then I don't think convincing yourself, of, like if you just want the more expensive thing because you like it, then go for it. I'd never want to demonize that either because I think that like if you've earned your money and if you, you know, want to reward yourself, go for it. I think it's okay, but I do, I do, I don't think everything needs to have some like intrinsic value that needs like, uh, you, you know what I mean? Like not everything needs to be like 10%, 5%, 1% better. You can just like something more which might be considered a, considered a better thing, but. Uh, when do we plan doing giveaways again? Uh, this is Jason, by the way. So I'm hoping, n oh, wait, did you change your name, Jason? Wasn't it something else before? Um, yes, okay. Uh, I'm hoping next week. I should have like one extra stream slot next week where I'm gonna start. And then I'm gonna do some giveaways for things. Uh, also, if you're a veteran in this hobby, you can shop in your own closet by doing rebuilding boards. Yeah, I mean, if you've been in the hobby for a while and you have a few boards, take a look at some of your oldest boards and kind of rediscover them. You know what I mean? Uh, has anyone has anyone offered to pay for your keyboard advice? If you're talking about one-on-ones, I've never actually charged anyone. There have been people who've like wanted to commission me for like sitting down, but. Um, I don't know, I felt weird. I think nowadays, like to better my time, and I don't mean this as like an agree, like I kind of unfortunately like, there are people who sometimes like will spend a lot of my time and you know, I'm not saying my time's value, I don't give a shit, right? But at the same time, like I wanna help as many people as possible. Some, some people like really do hog attention. Um, when I, I, you know, there's like lots of people who I feel like have questions. And so I've been dabbling with the idea of making like one-on-one -on -one sessions, um, which would be like paid for and stuff like that, where, I, you know, I can actually have like dedicated time for someone who wants that. Um, so I have, I have been dabbling with that. I just haven't really found a great way to like implement it yet. 
Um, and one of the more common things that I get is like streamer advice. That stuff uh, can be a can of worms sometimes too because I don't know, like I love helping people, but at the same time, fuck, some, sometimes it's, it's a lot of time to invest into like just helping one person a day when you have all these other things you need to do too, you know? <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be opening like a one-on-one -on -one thing in the future, Derek. Uh, I'm, I'm actually hoping within the next few weeks because a lot of, uh, dude, I've had a lot of inquiries about one-on-one -on -one time, just like about keyboard questions, about stream, a lot about streaming questions, about like them designing a keyboard, which that I can't really offer too much advice, but just like general questions. So that, yes, I will be opening in the future. Um, hey chat, quick question. Is MW short for Milky Way? Should be. I don't think MW means anything else in this hobby. My streamer is mainstream enough to just eagle me now? No, Shrek. I Listen guys, I, I don't want to get like too sappy about this. I don't want to ego anyone, man. I, I fucking love you guys. Like, dude, I've gotten it to the point. Don't don't judge me for this chat. I've gotten to the point where even I'm on the fucking toilet. I'm like sitting on Instagram DMs being like, okay, I need to message people back. Like, I really need to like, there's like 40, 40 questions that I received in the last like three days. Let me, let me message people. Whenever I find like a spare second where I'm just like on my phone, like, let me, let me answer people's questions. A lot of it actually, you know what I've been getting a lot of recently? Like, what desk do I have? Uh, that question's been popping up a lot, but I try, man. I try my best. I pinky swear. Uh, counseling streams. I don't know if I'd be a good counselor. I have my own set of issues. <laughs> I really do. Where's the PCB? Here it is. I sent the commission request, but I don't know uh, where I'm going to get a reply back. Did you send it in the last 24 hours, Slur? Because I answered stuff yesterday, but I haven't gotten to any of the new emails. But if it's older than 24 hours, can you please resend it? I'm going to be honest. I've been having um, this weird thing where sometimes stuff doesn't go through. It's not my website. I think it's just like, well, it is my website. It's just sometimes it thinks it's spam. Dude, there's so much spam shit that gets put into that kind of stuff too. Two years. Oh my gosh. Mr. Omnitype, how you doing, man? I was wearing my Omnitype shirt yesterday. You missed it. Where's my dielectric grease? Where'd I put it? Mr. Omnitype, 24-hour gaming stream subathon deluxe. Mm -mm. That's too much time. That dude, I don't know. 24-hour streams, man. That's a lot of time, man. Any GMK sets you regret not getting? Um, I still not, I still regret not picking up Sloth. I really, or Mudbeam, one of the two. Uh, we need, we just need to get you enough for every stream, I guess. Yeah, I know, right? Hello Gamer, big fan, D Solid Bear. How are you doing, dude? You should implement uh, chat GBT into your Discord to help with the questions and answers. No, uh, yeah, you know it's Borky, that's not like, I know some stuff would be pretty good. Like chat PBT is a very powerful tool, but there are some, I, I don't know. I've always been like a big fan of like personal touches, like very, I don't know, we'll see. There's a few things I need to implement. I think uh, next week and the week after, well, maybe not next week, but the week after is when I'm gonna have more time to do a lot of things. And that's when there's gonna be a lot of changes happening. Tons of changes. It's made by GMK. What is, uh, I'm gonna, did I, did I put, did I, P, did I say chat GBT? PBT, my bad, PBT. Chat ABS, did I say PBT or GBT? Bro, whatever, you know what? Chat GMK, that's what we're gonna call it from now on, right? It's called G Chat GMK. That's what it's called now. Chat Milky Way, one of the two. Chat GMK is backed up. Uh, if you're sad about Sloth, uh, GMK Boho is a close set to get. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sloth and, um, like I said, Sloth and Mudbeam are like the two ones I kind of Hello, really sexy got. man. Elquan, thank you so much for seven months, dude. Hopefully you're having a good one today. Love you, dude. Also, Omnitap, I don't know if anyone's told you, I actually just put away the set, but first of all, I've re-fallen in love with my Moto Light set. Second of all, I, I, dude, I don't know if anyone showed you this. 
This is probably like my new favorite set right now. I love Blurple. Blurp, this is so pretty. It just looks so good on lavender. It's like my new favorite set. I was actually gonna take, I was prepping it to take some pictures. Uh, that was a Jim K. Blurple. Lavender drip? Yeah, lavender's really pretty. I'm in school for building natural language models. It would be pretty fun to train a bot to answer a keyboard question. I wonder what kind of, but I feel like keyboard stuff's so diverse. That one was a pain to color match, so that makes me happy to hear. I can imagine. I find that with GMK, or just any keycap sets, more pastel-y colors never usually turn out right, so I'm happy that this one here turned out really well. Honestly, someone needs to design a chat PBT now, or a chat GMK, just to answer questions. Do you, you know what would be great? If GMK made chat GMK to answer like, when is my keycap set gonna be done? And it can just be a bot riddling off answers. How funny would that be? I feel like they would play into a lot of like funny humor if they did that. That'd be great. Um, IFK Aether, best set, just saying. Maybe one day we'll re-release Aether. Uh, what do you recommend for sets that are are out of GB and extras? I mean, you can look at so many different things. I prefer ABS plastics myself, so I like GMK sets. Uh, you can look at Omnitype, he's in chat. His uh, website is uh, a bunch of extras for things. Novel keys, canning keys. If you're in Canada, there's tons of Canadian vendors that have extras. There's so much, right? If you like PBT, we have Kinetic Labs. We even have Omnitype with some of his stuff too. Novel keys, canning keys, so many. Oh, yeah, Blotsky if you're in Europe. So it, it's, there's a lot. There's a lot of in stock stuff right now. On silver? You know, I think any literally anything works on silver, but uh, I've been really vibing with Moto Light on silver. That's why I have it on my bias. No, there's no, I don't have an affiliate code because I feel like that I, I was offered one just to let, let, give you guys like heads up, but I feel like that's a conflict of interest because I work for Novel Keys. So I, you know, I, I try to, I try to be like as responsible as possible. Um, but uh, I don't think, we don't have any NK discounts anymore, period. It's all just affiliate links from other creators. I put GMK uh, Hander Dark. Hander Dark? Which one's Hander Dark again? Hi, how you doing, Jerem? How you doing? Use code SOUNDTRACK for 0% off your orders. <laughs> Hashtag ad. Yeah. Use code Alex Odos in all your orders. Do you have a favorite polycarbonate 75? Um, polycarb 75. Do I have a favorite Polycarb 75? Have I built a Polycarb 75? I have, but it's not my favorite. I know which one I'm thinking of, which is the, the Evolve, but that, that was not a good experience building the prototype. Well, the prototype that I paid for. Um, I don't think I've built a Polycarb 75. I think the closest thing that I can recall, maybe again, I could be wrong, would be the PLA 75, which is 3D printed. Yeah, I don't think I have, have I? I don't know. Anna, how you doing? Hope things are well. We're just looping some stabs right now. Have I, I don't know if I have, honestly, I don't know. Um, mode should have came with a PC top for the Sonnet. Agreed, absolutely agreed. I think you'll need to remove alpha keys uh, from your list. Mike has been MIA for six weeks and his Discord got locked. Okay, I'm literally gonna make a note of that right now to like, in, not investigate, but just like look into it myself. I'm not gonna lie guys, like I have no affiliation with them, but when I used to order from them, it was like always really quick and stuff. So that's an unfortunate thing. Use code ch uh, chat GMK on our site for 5% keycaps to the end of the day. There you guys go. Omnitype, chat GMK. 5% off keycaps. There you guys go. Excuse me, but I have a question. Uh, what are, What is your tub? Oh, that, this is 205G0. 205. What Chimera did they send you? Uh, this pretty looking one. I don't like bending down with the 
with the wires. Oh, look how beautiful this is. I will be in a yes. I mean, I should be. I don't wanna like say yes and then not show up. I should be is the answer. Yeah, this is a pretty one. I have to admit that the inner weight turned out perfect. Usually I don't love like some of the multicolored stuff, but it looks it looks almost like, uh, I don't know. It looks nice. I have to admit, it turned out pretty nice. Uh, what is that type of metal finish called? Well, it's a PVD finish. It's also a multicolored PVD, but I don't know if it's, um, I don't know if it's like called anything past multicolored PVD. Sweet, I'm gonna try to finally meet you. Are you coming? You and Upas didn't come to the last one, right? Um, it is the real code. Just said, oh, it is real code? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys want to, you chat GMK on it. The PVD quality is so clear. Yeah. I've seen really bad P PVD. Um, that's good PVD. Obviously it's been handled a little bit because I think this has been passed around a few times, but um, really bad PVD will have like really weird waviness to it. And then extremely bad PVD will actually flake off, which I've seen on one build. Uh, I don't remember the keyboard's name. I actually don't even think we had, I ended up doing a stream for it. Uh, actually, on the original Mode 80, the PVD was flaking off on the inside. But uh, they corrected that uh, a long time ago. Where's my screwdriver kit? There it is. <laughs> Someone has a question for Omnitype. Are Moto 2 coming back? It's my fave on my Space 65 right now, but I put a, uh, but I got a Windex and have no numpad keys. Would love some. I'll let Mr. Omnitype answer those questions. Uh, Upas and I couldn't go last year. We hope to go this year. Hopefully. I'm going to the Toronto meetup. I would love to go to the California meetup too, Keeb Life, but I mean, we'll see when that is. Cause this summer I'm probably going to be like, if I have to move, it's going to be a big hassle for me this summer. But uh, we'll see how, how the, the year plays out. And then NK meetup, I really want to go to. That, I, that I'm going to be 100% going. Cause it's, uh, not too out of the way. I should start free. Wait, I should be free starting October. Sorry, are you still in school? I was. Uh, I always forget what you're. What you're up to. We haven't talked in a while. How many keyboards do you have in your collection? Um. I used to have, I don't remember the exact number. I'm just going to say 110 plus, but, uh, I have given away a lot. I have a really, I don't know, not reconsidered, but like taking a different approach on the hobby, I suppose, where it isn't hoarding. It's, I don't know, just liking what I like. And then when I stop liking something, instead of it sitting in my room collecting dust, I try to give stuff away. So I've probably given away 40 of those boards in the last like, I don't know, nine months. But uh, there's new ones that come in all the time that I end up giving away too. Uh, I don't miss those days. For which shows though? Oh, school, university, for uh, Mr. Soren. It feels uh, nice to not use much shampoo as before getting a haircut. Do you guys shampoo every day? It's actually really bad for you. That, that'll dry out your scalp easy peasy. I do it once a week. Yeah, I tend to do it for my, for me, I do it like once or twice a week, depending on how oily my hair feels. every other day. I literally shower every day and get bedhead every morning. So I do get bedhead as well. But what I usually do is I'll just spray some water on my hair and then dry it. And then style it from there. 
how does one participate in a giveaway? Okay, so I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Most of the giveaways I'm probably gonna be doing in the next like two, three weeks. Two of them will be on Twitch. And then I think some of them will be in my Discord. And then there might be one or two that happen on uh, Instagram. So if you were in the market to enter for something, um, those would be how we do them. Not so fun fact, my now late father-in-law had Sarai, is that psoriasis? Is that how you pronounce that? Uh, so didn't shampoo for 15 years and his hair naturally was incredibly clean. I've heard a lot of people um, who have had that as well. Um, where they just didn't like use shampoo. Holy hell, he pronounced it correctly. Bro, Chozo. Chozo's out here just like Jesus, finally. Yeah, eventually, from what I understand, it, it, like the oils in your head, of, I don't know. It's it's such like an interesting, that's a rabbit hole to go down too, man. Too many rabbit holes I've been going down. Um, depends on the person, though, just like me, because I have very greasy hair, plus I use pomade every other day, so I use, oh, if you're using product, yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. When I was using product as well, I was shampooing a lot. But I found, I've, I've uh, I don't want to say this is for everyone. Obviously, this is depending on the person. If you really want to start styling your hair nice, like just get it to be nice, like for a few days without using product. This sounds ridiculous. Dude, I'm not even kidding you. Learn to like properly blow dry your hair. Especially if, it, if you have media, like short, short, like this kind of length, learn to blow dry it and you'll never need to use a lot of product. It, a product will be touching up. So, but if you learn to do that, you'll be good. I've been really like practicing, like I don't like wash my hair and practice for fun, but like when I do wash my hair, I practice like blow dry it properly. Um, and then I've, I've been getting better results from doing that than I've been using a lot, almost no product these days, but I was using a lot growing up. And like even a year ago, I feel like I was using a lot of product. Uh, abnormal head scalp. It was literally depressing for him until he got the chance to visit the doctor. So did he fix it, uh, killed? I try hard not to wash my hair all the time, but Asian hair just doesn't look so greasy sometimes. I mean, everyone's gonna be different too, right? If it, if it bothers you, like don't obviously, like don't stop. But uh, don't stop doing what you're doing. I love your stream, by the way. Most chill experienced? Hey, thanks dude. My Boat 65 plate is sagging, uh, which is causing two to three edge keys to pop up. Um, what mounting style are you using on your uh, your board crust? The size of his scalp flakes were just massive back then. Okay, well, as, the, as long as he got it all fixed up and he's more confident with himself, I'm very happy for him. Self-confidence is, is a crazy thing. Easy for Alex to say, any hairstyle works with that mug. dude. I don't know, man, like, okay, on a real note, I love this hairstyle, but the moment this grows in even a little bit more, the sides get really long, and then I just don't like it no more. So, I'm probably gonna get it cut and go back to like my normal like undercut thing, but uh, this is like once in a blue moon, I, get, I, I can get this to work. That's it. Yeah. Do you keep record of how many boards you've built? No, not anymore. The hobby isn't that for me anymore. I, I no longer care about the number of builds or what the best build I've ever, I just enjoy the experience of building something. I enjoy the community that I get to, to be part of. Uh, and that's the hobby for me now. Did I, I put these in the wrong slot. Why is there two slots, I guess? I never understood that with that particular, I guess it's two different ways you can do the bottom row. Oh, one's for wind keyless maybe, that's what it is maybe. Uh, become a lion? Yeah, you have long hair, don't you, Chozo? <sighs> I want to see Jesus hair, Alex. Jesus, Alex, that's done me. <laughs> if you guys, I don't know, man. <laughs> I have old Facebook photos of me that I have longer hair. Like you can see, maybe one day, under special circumstances, I'll show you teen, yeah, teenage Alex. 
and what his hairstyle looked like then. But uh, that's for another day, I think. Good evening, good evening, Fira. No, Chozo. No, 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 no. I know your flicker. I gotta go double check. Chozo, don't expose, man. Chozo's supposed to be on my side. I think I have other ones though, like even younger ones, Chozo. I, I know which one you're talking about, but I have even younger ones of me. <sighs> I'm sure I could find that too. Probably. Don't they have you on Facebook, Chozo, or something like that? These switches are really, oh man, I'm not gonna lie, these switches are making me hungry. I'm a sucker for toffee. I love toffee. Uh, hi, hi there everyone. I wanna start modding keyboards and I'm looking to purchasing a 60%. So far, the two models that keep showing up in reviews are the RK61 and Ducky12 Mini. Which models would you recommend for that type of budget? So to answer that, I need to figure out what the cost of a Ducky12 Mini is these days. Ducky12, is it just one, two mini? Okay, hold on. A Ducky one, two mini is about $139. Okay, so you can probably still buy yourself one of these. I don't, are Ducky's hot swap? Do you guys know off the top of your head? I don't know if they're hot swap. I don't think so, right? Okay, what I'm gonna honestly recommend you if you want something in that budget range, yeah, everyone's already saying it, Bacaneco. Get yourself a Bacaneco, get yourself some really cheap switches. Cheap doesn't mean bad. I want to stress that on a, like, again, cheap does not equal bad in this hobby. Bacaneco 60, maybe get yourself some Gateron Milky Yellows, maybe something cheaper or a little bit more expensive, whatever you want. Uh, great switches. You can even end game those into something else. Um, and maybe get yourself like a, again, doesn't mean bad, cheaper keycap set. Maybe if you want to save some money, you know, I'm going to plug Canon keys here. Pick it up all off Canning Keys website. Save yourself some shipping. Build your keyboard that way there. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive in the long run, but there's not really much you can do with the, the ducky in terms of modding it. Like you need to desolder it, which means you have to buy tools and equipment and stuff like that. So really no point. I would go that route there. I don't know if that helps at all. Uh, who asked that again, Buffet? I, ho I hope that helps Buffet. Uh, wow, no problem, dude. I uh, hope heard we're getting another snowstorm in Toronto. Bro, get me off of this snowstorm shit. I'm so done with it. I don't, I don't want this weather anymore. I don't mind the cold. In fact, I love it. But I like sun. I'd rather have cold than sun rather than gloomy, snowy weather all day long. Uh, we got another eight inches coming. I am done with it, dude. Like I'm so over it. Like I said, get me off of that. Is this, uh, are there blockers on this? No, there's not. It was gorgeous today. Dude, I loved today. I went out, I got myself a nice little sandwich for lunch. Gorgeous day today. Oh God, hiccups. Why me? <sighs> when are you gonna release a new mouse, mouse pad design? Honestly, uh, Find where I put my plate fork. Where did I put my plate fork? Where did I put my plate fork? Did they drop it? Um, okay, I don't remember where I put my plate fork. It's okay, I'll just use, I'll just use my, my tweezers to prop it up. <clears throat> what was the question? Does anyone know uh, what earphones Alex is using? These are the Campfire Andro Andromedas. Campfire Andromedas. I only need to do a few. We're in. Alex Money, what's going on, dude? Do you ever sell off keyboard parts? Um, in maybe rare extreme circumstances, sure. But uh, in all honesty, 
the usual answer is no. I have had very specific like prototype parts being shipped to me from like vendors and people like asked me in the past and if I end up not using them or like a vendor doesn't want them back, I'll just ship them to you but uh, I don't sh I don't actually sell anything. I sell no parts, no nothing like that. Okay, there's a bad switch. The leg on the sides all popped out. How's my day going? Pretty good. I had a nice uh, Philly cheesesteak sandwich for lunch. Although I had a really late lunch. I didn't really eat much today. I wasn't really that hungry. Did a lot of work today. Did some photos. The sun was gorgeous today. So I made sure like to take some photos out, you know, around the house just to like absorb some of that sunlight. Do I have a nine to five job? Uh, I am fortunate enough that I get to work with keyboards all day long. You guys help me with that with, with you know, subscriptions and just viewing my content. Uh, we have some awesome sponsors and we also have some amazing, absolutely amazing um, eh, people like Novel Keys who employ me to do a bunch of stuff. And we have some awesome affiliates and you guys are like the biggest reason though, straight up. You should share your photos more in stream. Should I do another photo editing session soon? It's officially Thursday for me now, got a day off. Oh. Baby, I wish I had a day off. Actually, I don't stream tomorrow. It is like a day off for me. Photos and stream would be nice. I'm gonna be doing the Alyssa photos soon too. Those photos are gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna do them yet, but I, I wanna include natural light because natural light and lavender, ooh, it just slaps. Um, so how would I know, wait, okay. So how would I know if they're different, but if you had to choose Chimera 65 or Cruel World, Okay, well, let me finish building this one here first and I can answer it, but the Cruel World's nice too. Alex, I love the review you do on your website. Uh, oh, you mean like my written stuff? I love those too. I hope that a vendor pays you for those reviews. No, I haven't really, that's really hasn't been like a selling point for anything. In the future, I might offer that on like my package if people want a written review with like tons of like in-depth photos and stuff like that. I really enjoy doing that content. It's just, I feel like written reviews, uh, I'm gonna be honest, they take the they take longer than even, sometimes they take longer than the streams. They do take some time. What if I want your package instead? Guys, I think Sozo, Chozo's being kind of a little sussy. He's being sussy Ozo today. Okay, Chozo. A little sussy. Damn. It's that's a rare moment for Chozo. Chozo, are you able to add emotes like on official Twitch, not on BTTV or whatever they're called? Uh, underrated part of all your content is your website vendor list. I have used that for countless friends boards. That was actually done for convenience for me. And then everyone else really liked it. There are a lot of things that I've just done for convenience. Believe it or not, the written reviews actually start off as scripts for videos that I just scrapped and made them into written reviews. And that's kind of how I started doing them. My list is a little different though, because it's trusted things or things that I've actually made. Cause I don't, a little, little, little thing that I do. Obviously some people uh, some people will kind of recognize it's me, but sometimes I just order because like my name is Alex Odos. I just order under Alex in my last name. Some people will recognize it, but some people don't. So I try to like get a buyer's experience sometimes from uh, from vendors. That's why I give people like those stars. I just kind of, I don't, I don't ask for discounts, nothing. I just like buy. But um, sometimes I have really great experiences with people, sometimes like not so great. I've had some not so great ones that I've just taken off the list. Cause it's just like, I don't want other people to deal with the shit that I had to deal. But if you don't see a popular vendor there, there's probably a reason why. Uh, or sometimes I just don't add them cause I forget. <clears throat> Are you on the hype train for the Resident Evil 4? You know, I've never played a Resident Evil game. One day I would like to. 
No way? Yeah, I've never done it. I thought it was only 7 TV that I could do. I don't know. If you can do actual emotes, Chozo, I would. I think I want to go and redo a bunch of emotes. Maybe we'll make some really silly ones. Diablo 4? Oh, man. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like... I think we... I don't know if we had this conversation or not. I feel like D4... Oh, man. I don't know. I hope it turns out good. It looks a little bit too much like Diablo 3 right now. And if it's just like a Diablo... If it's just Diablo 3 just with different characters... I think I might just start up Path of Exile again. I don't know. Regardless, I'm ready to no life D4. Looking I'm, I'm ready to try it, Alex. but I don't know. I'm, I'm D Diablo three. I put so much hours. In. I love D. I love action RPGs like that. I like those top down loot collector type games. Love them. They're my favorite genre of games. Also, Jack, don't thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate your seven months of being here. <clears throat> What's up, Disky? How you doing? Most people got into Resident Evil from playing Resident Evil 4. Yeah, I've never played any of the RE. I mean, like, again, I... I don't know, I just never got into it. You should try out Last Epic. Honestly, way better than... So I was looking into that game the other day, Witchy. A lot of people said it's really good. But Diablo... When does Diablo 4 come out? When, it, when is that coming out? That's soon, right? Hmm. Interesting looking switches. These are called, I believe they're called what? Chocolate toffee switches? It ha they're nice, these are nice colors. They literally look like chocolate toffees. Very pretty, very, very pretty switches. Do I have a gaming channel? No, should I have one? Uh, I want to eat them. I love toffee. Toffee, is, I don't know. Chocolate toffee is, oh man. One of my favorite candy bars, not my favorite, but one of my favorites is Score. But Score is Hi, Alex. also Thanks one of the candy bars this. that like, I feel like my teeth are gonna break when I eat them. So I tend to avoid them, but I love Scores. Scores blessed. Upas, hi Alex, thanks for building this anytime. I love the way it, it looks great. It's a good looking board. Toffee is best old lady candy. No way, toffee's good for anybody. Lick a switch. <laughs> no, I don't want to lick a switch. Today is not a switch licking day. Toblerones? Toblerones are good, they're okay. Actually, they're okay. I'm not gonna say like they're, they're crazy good. We're using Stabies. Stabies, indeed. What's wrong with this little... Hold on one sec. Is this broken over here? Is this squished? Will this still work? I don't know if it will. We might have to swap PCBs because the... Um, looks like this is just a little squished. I'll try to put something in it inside right now. Hold on, let's put the daughter board cable inside. If the, pen, the pins are fine inside, then we should be good to go, but I think I see one that's a little squished. Yeah, it might have happened in transit. The box was kind of, uh, it was packed really well, but sometimes it happens still. Actually, we look okay for pins. Let me just make sure this is okay. Cause I honestly did not even try to plug it in. I just started building it. What's squished? The, it looks like just the JST connector part is a little squished. I've seen this happen once or twice. It's just plastic, it happens sometimes. Ah, it looks like we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. Uh, Ferrero Rochers. I like Ferrero Rochers, but Ferrero... This is such a weird thing to say, and I hope no one judges me for it. Ferrero Rochers make me so thirsty. Like I end up wanting just to drink like so much liquid after consuming a Ferrero Rocher. All right, let's see. Does it uh, does it does it work? Do we we type in things? I don't think so, actually. Good. 
good? Are we good? I can't tell. God damn, dude. Thank you, Sparky. Appreciate you, dude. Actually, I don't know if we're good on this. We might just swap to the other PCB. You making me thirsty? Roro Raggy? It's okay, I think. Let me try one other, my other tweezers here. Let's see, let's see. The JST to type C connector module is a great idea. I like, I like daughter boards. I don't think anything's activating, unfortunately. Does it need to be flashed, Upas or Anna? Do we know? I always thought uh, there was some sort of rice in them in Ferrero Rocher's. Is there? The pros of having a daughter board. So in terms of like a structure part of it, the, the pros of having a daughter board is you're allowed to basically, let me just double check. Uh, make sure the switch on the back is not on the flash module. Switch on the back. Oh, are you talking about this one? Swap that to the other one. I don't know if, what what the, what side it's supposed to be on. That could be it too. All right, let's try this one more time. Should work now. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Never mind, everybody. It was on. Okay, I didn't know it was on the wrong side. My bad, everybody. It's, it works. It's okay. The thing popped up now. Yeah, we're good. Never mind. We're good. Never mind. It's my fault. It's okay. uh, the mode Envoy is your favorite keyboard right now. I, I just, I really vibe with the way it sounds and it feels. I uh, just, it's just very, it's very me, and I'm happy with that. Happens to the best of us. Hey, it's better to, hey guys, let me tell you this. Better to be safe than sorry. It's always good to be a little extra cautious, even if you're wrong, than to not be cautious at all. When I tell you guys, the way I live my life is very cautious. I am not a gambling man. I, I do not like it, dude. I do not like risking things just for the sake of like risking things. Oh wait, oh sorry, uh, Koost, plate sagging. I don't know what mounting style, bought it from someone. Uh, so the plate sagging also might just be from the way they installed everything. You know what I recommend, Koost, is if you can put photos inside of our Discord, I can probably get a better look at it and then go from there. Uh, also, okay, to go back on the other question, the benefits of having a daughter board. So let me explain this to you guys. If you have a fixed USB C connection on this, all right? When you put this in a case and it goes into a fixed slot for the USB C, uh, I know some cases have the open slots, but most of the nicer cases or mo more modern cases have a fixed slot. You're creating a fixed point where the PCB cannot move, which essentially enables you to have or should have like a, a stiffer typing experience. It's not a bad thing. With a daughter board, if you have a lot of plate movement, so if you did want to design a keyboard with plate movement, this is on a separate area that if, even if it was fixed, it has the cable to move up and down. That's the benefit with that. Plus there's been some times where I know, uh, again, I don't wanna to speak too much on this because I feel like I only know limited things, but I think some people do include different types of ESD protection that comes on the daughter board first, which can help. Um, yeah, also another big thing too is if you're like me, I'm a little rough with my USB-C connectors. Sometimes, you plug it in, maybe you shove it in the wrong way or you do something you're not supposed to. It happens to the best of us. And you damage the daughter board, the USB-C part here. It's a daughter board. That's why I always say if you're gonna design a PCB, having a universal daughter board, it happens sometimes. Cable rattle? Oh, uh, I've never had cable rattle. Yeah, Tim does it sometimes too, it's crazy, but. I don't own a CL, no. I don't own one. All right, let's solder this guy here in. These are really cute switches. 
I vibe with these switches. Let me make sure everything's pushed in nicely here. Again, this is my uh, weekly reminder that if you're gonna build a keyboard, make sure your switches are seated nice and flush against the PCB. It actually matters a lot, more than you guys would think. We're using FR4 today. And solder. A small amount of tape would eliminate all, yeah, you could tape it down, that's true too. Thank you guys for the follows, by the way. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you. Is it worth taking apart my sauna to put the foam underneath the PCB? If you're unhappy with it, yeah, take it apart, why not? That's half the fun of these keyboards, right? But if, if you really like, if, it, if you don't want to spend the extra time to do it, then don't do it, right? Um, you can definitely use me as a seat. Huh? Lazy? Also, Sporky, thank you again for the five tier ones from earlier. I don't I don't know if I thanked you enough yet, but thank you. I really do I really do appreciate that. That means so much. I always appreciate your support here, dude. Uh, I'm a distraught man. Mode have stopped selling me the Mode 80s. Are you okay with the Mode Sonnet? I'm gonna be honest, the Mode Sonnet's the better of the two boards. Unless you need a TKL, then I unfortunately can't help, but the Sonnet's definitely the better of the two. In a lot of ways. Uh, how's it been, wait, how has it been the last day or two in terms of mental and rest, Alex? Resting wise, great. Oh, you know what I did today that helped a lot too? I readjusted all my CPAP straps on my uh, mask. I feel like it was kind of irritating me. I don't know if you guys can see some of the marks in my face, but I basically had to make it a bit tighter. It was leaking a lot of air, again. I don't know. I feel like with the CPAP machine, it's been a journey and a half to get a mask that I actually like. I went in for like a second fitting and she basically told me that, yeah, the original mask that they recommended me wasn't like the best mask in the world for me apparently. So, Sonnet doesn't tickle my pickle. I don't, you know what? I don't, uh, I don't falter you for that. I don't fault you for that. Perhaps in the future there'll be a, a TKL that more suits you if you're looking more for a TKL, but I don't, I don't know if Mode has any intention on doing anything else with the 80. I'll tickle your pickle, huh? I wish able. I wish I was able to snag the wood accent. I, uh, I think all of us here begged Matthew and Cena to re-release -re the wood. The wood accent. It was beautiful. Glad you're doing good though. At least feeling rested. Yeah, definitely a lot, a lot better. Definitely, definitely a lot, a lot better. Did two runs on the wood accent? Was there two runs? I thought it was just two drops. I don't remember now. I'm confused. Posture check? Okay, okay, okay. If you couldn't get a unicorn or Kohaki, what other options would you get? I hope this speaks for itself when I say this, but if I couldn't get a Kohaku or a Unicorn, I would be hella happy with the Envoy. And if you really don't like the Envoy for whatever reason, uh, and you just had to pick up something, honestly, get a Buck and Echo. If that's the kind of board you're after, or anything from Parallel usually is a pretty good idea too. That would be my, I guess, order of Operations for that. Just stick with the Bakaneko. Bakaneko is still bored, I feel like. Very, very, very relevant to today's conversation for, for good price points, good sound profile. You know, my favorite gummy O ring board, assuming your favorite is the unicorn. Oh, like other than the unicorn? Uh, I liked my Moon Tower a lot. I really like the Snake from Parallel. 
kind of a sucker for that guy. Um, there's been a lot of good gummy O-rings, dude. Uh, I would sit here and lie to your face if I told you there was a gummy O-ring that I didn't like. I think I've liked almost just about every single gummy O-ring. How do I get colors on my mouse? This is custom painted by Leonardo de Mouse. Actually, I need to hit him up soon. I want to I wanna see if I can pull strings to someone to get me that Razor Mouse, the new one. I don't know why, I like the design of it. I normally hate mice like that. But for some reason, I'm so, like, into the way that mouse looks. <sighs> so gummy is your favorite alley? It is, it is. Yeah, I really like it. Gummy O-ring is one of my favorite mounting styles. I gotta stand up while I'm at work. Dude, while I'm working all day long, I am getting up and down, up and down, walking around, like, I hate sitting for long periods of time. It, it is actually so unhealthy for you to sit that long. Uh, Monike or Tomorrow keycaps? Or Monokai rather. Monokai is beautiful. It has just the right amount of color. I personally like Monokai. Monokai material is it. Viper Mini Wireless? Is that the one I'm thinking of? The Signature Edition one? I don't know, I really like it, man. Uh, top and tray mount supremacy. Good, a good top mount doesn't miss. I wish I had more contacts doing stuff like that, honestly. Where I can be like, yo, I really like this mouse. Can I have it? And I don't, I don't got that type of pull, chat. I don't got that type of pull. I don't got that riz, as the kids would say. With vendors and stuff. Uh, I am not sure though, the sound profile between Unicorn and Kohaku and Envoy with Nixies. If, I'm assuming you're going for like a slightly brighter sound profile, in which case I, I, I think all three of those boards will provide you with the profile that you're looking for. 480 Australian dollars for a mouse. I think that's aftermarket, isn't it? Cause I think it was a little cheaper or am I going nuts? I have the Eckenbach, Eckbachen or whatever it's called from Ikea. Aftermarket's 1K. I mean, there's like a group of people who are like, yeah, we're businessmen. Look at us flip, we're businessmen. Uh, it's 280 retail, yeah, that makes more sense. Still very high for a mouse, obviously, but makes more sense. Is there a top mount 60 you enjoy? Um, okay, off the top of my head, I don't remember, but the top mount 65 that I use literally every day for gaming is the Suse. The Fukuru, I think, the, fuck, the Fukuru was really nice too, from Kibu. Uh, Australian is very different from US. Isn't Australian and Canadian very close though? If it's anything like Canadian dollars, 280 USD should be like 350, not 480. So I feel like 480, 480 Canadian or Australian is the fuckaroo. I didn't say, ah, I didn't say fuckaroo, I said fukaroo. <laughs> you still use your plume? No, I need to ask Alex, hey, the guy who made his name is Alex. I need to ask Alex if I could have a different plate. I think he ended up sending me a plate that I don't normally vibe with. I think I have brass plate. But I really want to rebuild it with an alu plate. So I need to bother them for a new updated plate. CAD is above USD. It's 0.9 CAD. Is Australian dollars lower than CAD now? We used to be pretty like on par with one another, I feel. Caught you? You did. You did catch me. I'm gonna turn up the music a little bit. Or is the, is the music a healthy volume right now, chat? I feel like it's been very low all stream. It's healthy? Okay, we're good. I think USD, CAD, Australian. Dollaroo's so sad right now. <laughs> Wait, what is that? I wanna actually see. 
I were to type in, let's just say 350 CAD to USD. So it's 250 USD, but what about to Australia? So nice. Oh, it is a lot. It's like $33 more. Damn. Digit, thank you so much for the prime. I really appreciate that, dude. I hope you're having a good one. So yeah, Australian dollar is kind of definitely on the lower side now. Dollary Dews is my favorite nomenclature. You don't like her maple bucks? Uh, should I put picks in the key? Oh yes, help, help, um, help section in and tag me, please. Pretty please with the cherry on top, please tag me. Uh, I'll probably respond or look at it, not right away, but probably afterwards. I have an alloy plate if you want it. I built a half plate and I liked it. I liked it too much to change. I'm in TO. Ooh. I might take you up on that offer. Because uh, I love the board. I just, I'm going to be honest, I, I hate brass plates. And I think I have it built with. I think I have it built with uh, Zeal switches right now, and I kind of want to get rid of those too. It's apparently having QC issues. Oh really? But I, dude, I feel like okay. I don't, I don't know if anyone here is into the mouse community slash hobby. I feel like every mouse that's come out has had some Hope sort of. Hope everyone drama. is having a good day. Livy, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate that. I hope you're having a better day. So I, I know today for a lot of people was like a feels like everyone had a great day today. Uh, sir, what's going on? How you doing? Is he also overpriced still? Oh yes, very, 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 very overpriced still. No doubt about that. I'm really into mice. I feel like the GPW Superlight is the most flawless. Are you talking about the glor not the glorious one, the um, Logitech one? I don't know, I'm not gonna lie. My mice names confuse me just as much as keyboard switches. The hottest mouse in the mouse community, probably the Superlight, I think is still the, the Superlight's Oh gosh, what did I just do? I think it just shorted the uh, thing there. I think the super light's still uh, the most popular mouse, I'd say. Definitely super light. What's up, Lero? How you doing, dude? The final mouse starlight. Did okay, but do you think I heard so many stories about the starlight having QC issues as well, like just issues in general? I don't know how true that is. It's definitely Final Mail still. I mean, I mean, it makes sense. I just, I feel like a lot of people that I know ended up switching to a uh, G Pro Wireless. This is the MX Master 3, yeah. This is a custom painted one of it. Although you can, you can see it's been worn down a little bit. Got some natural, uh, natural patini going on of our little, this is like a soft touch material, which I don't like, by the way. I do not like this material. My Starlight is thankfully flawless. I'm, gl I'm glad it is, honestly. It had a massive sale a couple of days ago. Oh, nice. that may probably makes sense why a lot of people bought it too. All right, let's put this guy in. I think we need to put some gaskets in the keyboard too. Although I might put it on the plate here, just so the next person who builds this doesn't I don't Alex want to rob them of the experience of putting on. Do we even have enough for that? No, I don't think we have enough. So we are putting it inside the case. Final meme has had some interesting QC history. What's up, Detriment? Thank you so much for the 22 months of being here. I mean, uh, I have a I have two final mouse mice. I have a star Why fox. are the months going by so fast? Thank We're you. almost a quarter of the way through 2023 already. Dude, it has been going by really quickly. Um, the plural of most is meese. That's the plural of moose. Thank you, Star Fox, and thank you, Detriment. My, I have two Cape, uh, Cape Town, or whatever they're called, versions of the Final Mouse. And uh, one of them has, oh, I think I need a longer bit. One of them has died completely. Like, it is completely dead. So un unfortunately, not much I can do there. The plural of moose is meese, no doubt. Yeah, that's the, that's the truth. There's no, there's no doubting that. That's, that's not me lying. Key 
time because I don't have a thing long enough for this. Which one should I use here? Where are these things? I think it's this guy. Yeah, it's this guy here. Allen key time. A lot of people like the Pulsar. Oh yeah, that's been a pretty hot one that I've been seeing pop up too. Good Thox, thank you so much for your prime. I appreciate that. I hope you're having a good day today. Gotta get them screwdrivers from Canon Keys. You know, I have so much tools and stuff around the house here that I probably have something that works for this, but <laughs> I need to, I'm still on this kick of I need to better organize my tools, which I have been very slowly. Been minimalizing the stuff I really don't need for tools, but it's tough. Lambzu is pretty popular right now. Kevin heard of that one. Titus, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate you, dude. Really do. I hope you're having a great day today. I hope everything's going flawless for you. I think there's a lot of Toronto peeps in here right now. Uh, what do you think of NK Creams? Pretty solid switch. I have no quarrels with the NK Creams. <sighs> Got some dust in here. All right, let's put in our daughter board. This weight is, this internal weight is so pretty to look at. Damn. Has some fingerprints, not gonna lie to you guys, but uh, not much you can do there. It's so nice, yeah. Take care, Fira, nice seeing you again. Hey Alex, what's going on, Crab? How you doing? Or Crava, rather. I don't know if you want me to pronounce it Crab or Crava. All right, let's grab those screws in the little baggie. Where did I put that little baggie? Right here. Upas and Anna, I don't know if you guys are in chat. Is this the special edition version? What, what would this be called? Like what would this edition of this Chimera be called? Are Cherry, Cherry MX Hyperlight Blacks overrated? Or are they actually solid? <laughs> You're asking the wrong person, sir. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't like Hyperglides. But there's a million, I, I guarantee you there's like half a chat will probably tell you otherwise. I'm not a Hyperglide fan. Uh, I just, I, I think they sound too thin. They're, they're not for me, they're not my type of switch. Um, yeah, so that's just me. This is actually a combination of special edition. Oh, okay, okay, so it's a combo unit. Because special edition has the prism PVD with the purple case, but the black case is from standard. Okay, that makes more sense. All right, daughter board installed, and now we're gonna put these guys on. How would you describe Gatoron cap yellows? I really like Gatoron cap yellows. Oh, there's like, god damn. I thought this was one giant gasket. <laughs> These are multiple mini gaskets. Whoops. Uh, so it's the specialist in weight with standard case? Yeah. One giant gasket. Adhesive gaskets? Yeah, I, I definitely like, I definitely like the trend of slip on gaskets. I would not be hurt if everyone started going towards, um, but it'll be limited. Okay, I say we'll be limited. But uh, yeah, I definitely prefer non adhesible gas. Like, I like gaskets that just kind of slip on the tabs and stuff. My build experience wise, so much cleaner to do. But I mean, like there is a certain therapeutic charm of putting on adhesive strips, I suppose. I do too, yeah. I Dude, the switch pusher is amazing. This thing here, this is, I use this all, I just used it before on one of the switches that wasn't going in. This is, this is a, such a sick tool. Before that, I was using my uh, keycaps, if you guys recall and struggling with those constantly. <clears throat> the gaskets on the final version will have a weak adhesive so you can remove them, put them back on multiple times. Oh, interesting. 
Is it is it like a one of those special adhesives that kind of stay sticky? It sounds weird saying that out loud. Not a fan of gaskets over the daughter board. I don't like those free hanging gaskets either, but you can always clip that if it bothers you. You guys already know how I feel about the free hanging gas, basically gaskets that kind of like free hang over the daughter board like that. I've never really liked that, but you can cut those, just cut them to shape. You make, oh my God. <laughs> Dude, office. Don't make me blush like that again, my guy. Holy. Stronger version of sticky notes adhesive. Oh, okay, cool. What are the switches? Chocolate toffee switches. Which is getting me in the mood for candy. Or chocolates. Not gonna lie, I love chocolate. Actually, I'm lying. I don't love chocolate all the time. There are so some times where I, I just can't do, I can't vibe with chocolate. Do you taste the switches? Can't say that I did, but uh, if I decide to taste the switches, I'll let you guys know. Do they taste like chocolate? <laughs> Promise I'll let you guys know if I taste them. Uh, need more of that sweet, sweet lettuce mount. Yeah, that was actually very, I like the lettuce mount on the Envoy. Pretty innovative. QK80, yay or nay? Yay, but no flex cuts. Again, I'm talking, this is purely bias from, I like the sound profile of no flex cuts, but also from a standpoint of objectivity, let me tell you guys this. You're gonna get more out of your, your purchase by buying the non-flex cut version. Just cause you can still get that foamy sound signature without the need for flex cuts. And again, if you're after a lot of flex, then yeah, then that's the reason to buy the flex cut version. If you, if you really want a lot of that like soft softness while you type, but like objectively, you're missing out on a whole sound profile. Now, if that sound profile doesn't mean anything to you, then yeah, just don't buy it. But uh, I personally think there's more value to be had in the non-flex cut version. End of story. End of story. <sighs> Therak, is there actually custom software needed for the QK? That wasn't, I don't think no one told me about that. <clears throat> Honestly though, I, I don't even know anymore. I prefer the whole assembly uh, to move at once than straight flex. Yeah, again, better mounting style is always, always appreciated versus something like adding flex cuts as a last minute decision. Not saying that it was a last minute decision, but uh, sometimes flex cuts feel that way. Okay. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. That little, I don't know, looking at this little like multicolored PVD, it's kind of hot, man. Like that looks pretty sweet, no? You can even see some of the reflection over there too. This is cool, I like this. It's so nice, yeah. Again, I think this paired up with the purple will probably be so much nicer than it paired up with the black case. Um, I, or even if this the case was a bit lighter in color, but very nice, very pretty, very good quality PVD too. This is outstanding quality. screws <clears throat> pbt per per uh perpite is that the one from is that from uh pbt fans right that wasn't too bad looking i didn't mind that one there chimera was a i feel like a lot of people's like in quotations end game you know what though i don't mean to like i'm i get it. to keep it honest with you guys I feel like the Chimera was super hyped and it sold out so quick and everything. And like, I feel like it was, it happened so quick that I never kind of like fully understood the hype. You know what I mean? Like not to take away from it, but I feel like it was so like, boom, hyped. And I, I, I always was just like, man, where did it come from? 
Uh, yeah, it looks, that looks, I know it's a little bit darker of a scene, but that, that looks fucking sick. That looks sweet. Again, this looks so nice with a lighter colored case. Kuhaku's still your end game? Kuhaku's still nice. It's a very nice keyboard. Uh, smoke PC version of the Chimera's end game. I do remember that looking really pretty though. I feel like this, if this released a year ago, it would have gotten a lot more attention. The Chimera? I, yeah. You know what though? I will say from like a standpoint of like when it should have been, dude, I feel like there was so much hype for the Chimera last year. I still feel like there definitely is though. I still see people eyeing the Chimeras. Oh baby, look at that color of that PVD. I'll wipe it down later. We'll, we'll do a nice little wipe, but it has my fingerprints all over it. But my God, that's pretty, very pretty. I also, again, I like the way that, you know, zoom in a little bit. You can see that trim from the top there too, which is really pretty. Very, very nice looking, very nice looking keyboard. All right, what keycaps am I putting on this again? You guys want future funk? You know, I kind of even feel like Dracula would, actually maybe future funk. You guys remember what board I put it on? Assuming you have every keycap set in the world, then Striker. <laughs> I do have Striker, but Striker's on my, actually it's sitting right here in my Striker set. Striker's on something right now. Um, I don't remember what keyboard it was on. Vice Knights would look nice. It's on your Sonnet. Oh, you're right, it is on one of my, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have two sonnets. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is what I mean. Like, I need I need to like better organize some stuff. I definitely, definitely do. Okay, do we like this? You know, believe it or not. I know people think that black keyboard cases are really easy to work with. <clears throat> I, I think the opposite. Does this look nice? In I think I think so. I think this looks nice. Uh, black keyboards are a nightmare to match. Yep. I think that uh, there needs to be cer there's certain colors that work really well with this. So. Why do I have two backspaces on my sonnet? Oh, I, don't, I couldn't find the other. I just put I just put that because it was kind of funny. It looks like bullshit, you know, BS bullshit. So that's why I did it. 
Okay, we're gonna leave this set on. I think this works. I personally don't like it too much color mixing. Yeah. This is this is why I don't care for all black keyboard cases anymore. I feel like it's wob or beige or just something very basic in terms of colors. Because everything else is just too high contrast. And that's why I think like silver or e-white or even like gunmetal is just way more usable in terms of like color matching. But I, th I think this is fine. Uh, black cases go with everything. It's just hard to make colors pop. In a way, yes. Like it still goes with this. There's nothing wrong with this at all, but. Silver is definitely the most versatile. Silver and e-white. Boneyard on my Sissinti uh, Hinch. I can't even pronounce that. God, I'm Italian. I can't even pronounce that. Uh, is very good. Yes. Another thing is color matching caps to the board. Uh, color is always a safe bet. It is safe. Definitely safe. But I feel like complementary colors go a lot further than just like straight color matching or just something that ultimately like enhances the board. Uh, hello. There are some good uh, caps to match with. <laughs> Which one's Finn? Have you seen the vinyl wrap on Linus's car? Why does it sound so familiar? This is 7U, yes. A little 7U build for you guys. What is this? Let's see. This is very Call of Duty. <laughs> this is very like gamer. You know what though, low key, if the car was just that color, that'd be super fucking sick. Like just the purple, you know what I mean? It's still pretty cool though, like I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit you guys, that's still pretty neat. I don't, I don't think it's awful. Um, I definitely like solid colors though. You guys know me. Thanks, D-Brand. I hate it. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I don't mind it. It's actually not too bad. I don't, I don't... The rap is called Warzone? Yes. It's, a uh, that, I know, I know because D-Brand sent me out a cool book. Um, that is their War Call of Duty, Call of Duty style rap, or call, not, not the rap, but like their Call of Duty style thing. I don't hate it though, it's actually kind of cool. Uh, keycap puller. Skin, that's what it's called, yeah, the Damascus wrap. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do feel like those are gonna sound like browns. No, no, they're, li <laughs> they're linear switches. When building a keyboard, what makes you pick the right switches? Is there a website you can check? So, I'm in a unique position and I'm not gonna lie about it where I, I just know what I, I have a good feeling of what's gonna sound good and what's gonna sound bad. But I think a good rule of thumb is, um, don't start with your switches, start with your plate. Like if you know what your plate is gonna be, then you can have a better idea of what switches you should use. But uh, ultimately just have fun with what you're doing because there's no wrong or right answers in keyboards, it's just have fun. Th there is nothing wrong with like experimenting and like fucking up and picking the wrong thing. Hydrate, got you. On brass, I only use tactiles on brass. I only use tactiles there. You think it's worth getting a PP plate? Uh, polypropylene plates, I feel like have, to me, specific use cases. I'm not too keen on them, but maybe you are. Let's put this here, fuck it. As a perfectionist, I don't wanna mess up. So, I don't think, I don't think there is messing up with keyboards. Like everyone, everyone might like something different, but in a personal aspect, I suppose, I would suggest rule of thumb. Thank you, Slur. Thank you so much for the prime. Um, if you were to go with something like a plastic plate, I typically find that long poles accentuate like that nice sound profile out of it. 
Uh, if you were to go something like Alu, Alu is pretty well rounded. I feel like everything works really well, but again, also depends on the case that you're using in the mounting style. A lot of factors to consider. Another Sonnet build. It's like a, it's like a D build of the Sonnet though. We won't consider this a build. We'll consider this more of like a D build. All right. Ooh, okay. Do we like, uh, actually this didn't turn out too bad with the color. I, I was a little hesitant at first. I'm like, ooh, maybe it's a bit too purple of a keycap set. But if we look at it from here, that's kind of cool. Yeah, this is a nice looking keyboard. Again, uh, I do wish this was a different color case so I can like better show off some of like the, actually it's not too bad, I can show it off here. The light's hitting on a good spot. Nice side profile. I think this looks pretty sick with the keycap set. Very, very cool design on the Chimera. Pretty, pretty case. Very nice. All right. Pretty standard installation. No, uh, no tough times, I'd say. I feel like one aspect that gets overlooked is with just experiment approach is that unfortunately many people can't afford to experiment. Um, so I will say this is an argument back. I understand what you mean exactly. 100% because like some people definitely can't afford to do that. However, I can sit here and like write home how much I like something. That person now has faith in me to do that. They do the same thing and then hate it. So unfortunately, I kind of do have to blanket the just experiment things. Because there is going to be, I mean, like, people think differently than you, you know? Dude. Slur, thank you so much. Anna, thank you so much for the hydrate as well. Slur, come on, dude. Appreciate the tier ones. Thank you so much, Slur. But I do agree. Some people can't afford to. I do have to be more cautious about, like, how I approach that sentence. But meetups are a great way. All right. Trial and error is the only way. Unfortunately, it's the, the only way. Meetups are a great thing for that too, right? Ooh, hey, we'll do a little HJ test. So these are lubed, um, lubed uh, chocolate toffee switches. FR4 plate on the Chimera. This is the R2 of the Chimera. Again, pretty sexy looking keyboard, not gonna lie. Uh, you know what, I think I'm just very infatuated with how the lip of the weight kind of peeks over a little bit and you can kind of even see it sitting down, which is like beautiful. So very, very pretty. Um, the price of this one, I'm not too sure how much the price of the special edition one was, but I believe the other ones are about, what, 400, 450 for the, uh, the Chimeras. A little HJ test for you guys. All right, let's plug this in and give it a little spin, shall we? Uh, quick keyboard assistant. I don't know why that asks every single time. All right, let's see what this sounds like, guys. That's pretty, that's pretty nice. Yeah, that is actually really nice. Sounds like a Razer keyboard, okay. Spacebar is very solid, dude. I, 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 the tones of the alphas with the FR, this is what makes me conflicted whether or not I like FR4 more than Alu sometimes, because I really like the tonality of the alphas here. I really do. And uh, I don't, I think the FR4 is the, a good choice for this. I'd love to see what this sounds like with the Alu plate. I know, I think I've built one with an Alu plate, but that was the R1. I don't know if there's like, again, core differences that would make it sound difference. 
Um, but I love the tonality. Like the undertones of the plastic plates are, are very, very pretty. I, I really do appreciate like the bassiness to them. It's not quite as metallic-y, obviously. The space bar is a little bit deeper too, which is nice. It sounds good, but not too special. What is special? I mean, like special though right now, like this is the other sound profile that we usually build into. Um, but I think this sounds like a lot different than what I normally would build, to be honest, which I kind of appreciate. This would sound really good with tactiles as well. Special is preference? Yeah, it's all preference. I, I think this sounds fantastic. There's no hollowness uh, in terms of like a soft typing experience. It's it's like firm. It leans more towards firm typing experience. It's not, it's not bouncy or soft in any sort of way. There's no feedback, no vibration from it as usual. It's isolated, so it is what it is there. Uh, Canon Keys logo kills it for me. Really, I don't mind it. I, I don't think it like super kills it for me. I, I don't think this is bad. It sounds great, but I, I am oh, I love clacky. I'd, I'd say this is more of a clacky keyboard. A little bit on the deeper side, for sure. But I, I do think I want, I don't want to like blame it, but uh, the FR4 plate is probably what's causing it to be a little bit more of like a deeper sounding profile. Um, and these are with ABS caps as well. You want to see a PBT space bar? Yeah, I can do that. <clears throat> Definitely clacky. I, I'd say it leans more to clacky. Definitely leans more into like the clacky nature of the keyboard. PBT enjoyers. Yeah, let me get you guys a PBT space bar. We're gonna put a CRP spacebar uh, with Kiwi switches. I mean, with tactiles, this would probably sound really good. The Bakaneko build or sound test with that. I don't have a Bakaneko fully assembled right now. I actually recently took my Bakaneko apart because I stole the switches out of it, uh, which sometimes, sometimes I do as a content creator. But uh, I don't have any Bakanekos fully assembled right now. But I will say this, the Bakaneko is definitely a lot brighter um, than this keyboard. It's very different. A lot less tonality from the PBT. This is why, I don't know. For, for me, I much prefer ABS. Much prefer this. Yeah, ABS is always a win for me. Again, everyone's different. Please, if you liked, if you liked that other one, then it is what it is. Everyone's different. I prefer ABS keycaps. Always have, always will. Uh, I think it's better with the ABS on this one. Yeah, me too. Compare that to the mode again. It's two very different space bars, FYI. The, to me, this is, Two very different space bars. Are the CLV2s by Kinetic Labs PBT or ABS? Those are PBT. Deeper on this one? Yes, definitely deeper. Honestly, really like this though. Visually, this is a very pretty keyboard, easy to put together. I think the only change I would possibly make in the future for this board is, again, this is like stupidly minor, is I don't like that hanging gasket that sits over the, the daughter board. That, that's really about it. I know some people said they're indifferent about the Canon logo. Again, I think that's a preference thing. I actually don't mind it. I think it adds to the keyboard a little bit. Maybe something to do with the Chimera would make more sense instead of the Canon logo on that. But uh, very pretty looking keyboard. Like this is, that is super clean looking. At the end of the day, it sounds like a keyboard. Do you want to look at it like that for sure, Slur? 100%, it's all keyboards at the end of the day. <clears throat> sounds and look nice. Yeah, it's definitely a pretty board. I know there's gonna be a lot of people pretty happy with this one here if they end up picking it up. 
Uh, and this definitely is a weight, but uh, there is another weight on the bottom of the keyboard as well. So you guys can kind of see that. And then show you guys the back piece again. Eh. There is that little chimera again, my fingerprints, excuse me. Look at that, pretty. All right. That's pretty much it, guys. That was the Chimera. Honestly, I'm hoping... I don't know how fast they need this back. Like, I, I kind of want to type on it for a few days. It's nice. It, it's, it's a nice on the keyboard. It's super com comfy to type on, too. Comfort level, if there was anything glaring, I'd definitely say that, but super comfy. You filthy, filthy boy. PVD. Unfortunately, the side effect of PVD keyboards, you're going to get a lot of fingerprints on them. So... If you don't like that, I would suggest staying away from the PVD stuff. What typing angle? It feels like seven. I don't know if Upas or Anna are in chat again. I don't remember the exact, oh, nothing. nothing's plugged in. Uh, my OCD will make me move the around like a food tray. Saran wrap the weight. Oh, Saran wrap it? No. I'm about to climb, um, see you soon, see ya. Take care, Luther. Shout out to PVD hero. Why wouldn't uh, that cool art be on the front? Missed opportunity? That's what I'm saying. Like maybe my criticism here would be like move the cannon to the back or somewhere a little bit more like less conspicuous. Yeah, 7.5. Maybe move something like this really cool Chimera badge or something similar to the front. I don't know, spitballing, but I'm not the designer here. This is very clean looking though. If this, if this wasn't here, I think this would look kind of stupid. If it was just like a piece of uh, aluminum. And nothing like a badge, but this is pretty. I could really go for a burger right now. Me too, to be honest. Me too. Do y'all think the 8X... I don't know. I've never built one. I, I, I've never built any of Matrix, Matrix Keyboard's TKLs. Beats me. <laughs> Again, I work for Novel Keys. Uh, I've never built an 8X. Beats me. Uh, it looks like a cool keyboard. I've heard great things about the Matrix boards, but... Uh, I have no idea how good they are or what they sound like. I want to see. I don't think I watched the build stream for those ones there. The core. I like the core set. That was good. A grill is whatever you make it. Yeah, that's all personal preference. This this hobby is so, so so, so based on what you like as a human being. No one else. Fuck what everyone else thinks. Like what you want to like, guys. I'll put this back later. Okay though. Cheese bird versus thermal. <laughs> Cheese board every time, baby. I work for Novel Keys, yes. Have you seen the Machida? Is that uh, Jackie? Jackie's new design? The 40%, I believe. Um, Adex, uh, V is all right, but sure. Make sure to not to get to, wait. Make sure don't get the aluminum plate with the meme cuts. You guys already know how I feel about that stuff. You guys, you guys are all well aware about how I feel about uh, flex cuts and meme cuts and all those things. I've really, really grown a disliking for them. They're just, well, out of my preference zone, I suppose. Uh, but let's go raid. Oh my, is Diego building his bias? Is this his? Is this your bias? I don't see anything. So it looks fine. All right, cool. Let's go right, Diego. What about, is this what about- your bias? Oh, he's answering. You are my bias, Alex. Oh my God. Stop, I'm blushing. Oh my God, dude. Stop, dude, great stream. <laughs> Set yourself up there. Um, okay. Okay, let's um, go right, Diego. We have to rate Diego now. Right. All right, guys. <laughs> I, I, I Lightning I keyboards. Cringe, Thanks, guys, for tuning in with me today. I really appreciate all of you being here. Uh, Upas and Anna, thank you for sending out the Chimera for me to take a look at. Let me know who I'm sending to this next. Can I have, like, two two days, three days with it, though? It's real nice. Um, if you guys want more info on it, take a look at uh, Ken and Key's website and Discord, as usual. But uh, thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. This night was fun. Um... I think we have some more client builds this weekend and, and following into the, the next few days too. So see you guys so soon. I'll see you guys Friday and then um, Sunday as well. See you guys very soon. Love you guys and peace out everybody.